Hey everyone, welcome back to Tap Tech. Today we're diving into something big, a camera that could redefine what professional photography means. We're talking about the upcoming Nikon Z92. If you're in the US or anywhere in the premium market zone, you'll want to stick around because this may be the one that changes everything. I guarantee you'll want to hear it all before you decide what your next pro camera should be. Picture this, you're standing in a wildlife hide just as the sun breaks through, a tiger steps into the clearing, and you're locked in. Or you're on a fast-moving sports sideline, frame after frame flying, a decisive moment, captured. That's the level we're talking about. Now, here's the honest bit, nothing is confirmed yet. These are strong rumors, educated guesses. But they point in one direction, Nikon wants to go big with the Z92. Let's unpack everything we know, everything we suspect, and what this means for you, the professional or aspiring creator. First up, the sensor and speed. The current Nikon Z9 set the benchmark with a 45.7 MP stack CMOS sensor, blazing fast. Rumors suggest the Z92 might step up to something around 61 MP, while keeping or improving speed and low light performance. That means higher resolution for massive crops or huge prints, but still the kind of agility you need for sports or wildlife. Speed matters too. Reports hint at 40 frames per second in RAW, possibly more, plus pre-capture RAW, a mode where the camera starts capturing before you fully press the shutter, is mentioned. For action shooters that means less guesswork, more magic, you press the button and the camera already has the moment. Autofocus is expected to be next level. With the Z9 the autofocus was already praised, the Z9 II may add even more subject detection, animals, birds, vehicles, smarter tracking, more points across the frame. For pro shooters that means fewer missed moments, especially in unpredictable scenarios. Video. Yes. Considering what Nikon is doing with its cinema division and what competitors are delivering, rumors suggest 8K at higher frame rates, e.g., 8K 120p, internal 10-bit or 12-bit recording, improved heat control, cinematic features. For videographers that means one body could handle high-end stills and high-end video big value. Then build, design, and connectivity. Expect rugged build, weather sealing, professional ergonomics. Possibly a lighter body using advanced alloys, improved articulating screen, dual card slots, maybe hybrid CF Express Plus SD, fast tethering, or wireless workflows. For professionals on location, every second saved, every durability improvement matters. What about release date and price? Here things get murkier. Some rumors say it might arrive for or around the 2026 Winter Olympics timeframe. Others say not before 2026, because Nikon may be pacing themselves. Expect a premium price, we're talking flagship territory, likely in the $5,500-$6,500 US dollars class, or more, depending on region, lenses, bundling. Professionals in the US and premium markets have to budget accordingly. Now let's talk why this matters to you if you're in the U.S. or premium country market. 1. Investment worth. Buying a flagship body is not just a gear purchase, it's an investment in capability. If the Z92 delivers on these rumors, you're getting top-tier stills plus video in one body. That kind of flexibility matters when you're charging clients, doing pro jobs, or building a serious content business. 2. Future proofing. Camera ecosystems evolve. If you buy a body that's pushing boundaries today, you're less likely to feel limited in a couple of years. For premium markets, getting ahead with tech matters. 3. Production value. Whether you're shooting weddings, commercials, documentaries, or high end content, the ability to pull high resolution stills and cinema grade video from one system simplifies workflow and elevates your output. For resale value and ecosystem, professionals in major markets know gear retains value if it's flagship and supported. Upgrading within a strong ecosystem matters. But of course there are trade-offs and questions to consider. 
Will the resolution jump cost speed or dynamic range? Higher MP often means more data, more demands on storage and processing. Will heat control hold up under extended high-frame video shooting? Will battery life remain manageable? Flagships often consume more power. Will lenses and support gear keep pace? Buying the best body doesn't matter if why. Our lenses restrict you. What's the lens ecosystem and support in your region, US, UK, EU, Japan, etc.? Premium markets expect strong global support and compatibility. Let's pull in what you should do now if you're planning for the Z92. Start getting your savings ready. If this hits flagship price categories, you'll want to budget accordingly. Evaluate what's working with your current kit. Are you constrained by your camera's autofocus? By video specs? By resolution? Make a list of pain points you hope the Z92 will solve. Keep an eye on Nikon's announcements. Rumors are strong, but official info will solidify what features it truly offers. Consider lens and accessory support, especially if you shoot high end, think fast primes, pro telephotos, high speed cards, CFX Press Type B, or whatever Nikon uses. If possible, trade in or sell older gear once the Z92 is announced. Fresh launches often prompt price drops on older bodies like the original Z9. Now let's do a quick bottom line takeaway for premium market creators. If you're serious about photography or video at the highest level, the Z92 looks like it might be the tool you've been waiting for. It promises high resolution, extreme speed, professional video, and full pro build. If it lands as the rumors suggest, it will be one of the top choices for elite creators globally. But be patient. Release may not be immediate. And even when it's out, price and availability in your region will matter. For creators in the US, UK, Canada, EU, Japan and other premium markets, you've got the purchasing power, you've got the ecosystem expectation. So you'll want every detail to be right. Before we wrap up, let me offer you this. Don't buy gear just because it's the flagship. Buy gear because it solves your problem. If you're doing high-speed sports and your current body stutters, then this upgrade might make sense. If you're doing studio work and need ultra-high resolution, yes. But if you're doing casual or hobby work, well, you might wait. The Z92 will demand more from you and from your wallet. All right, so what do you do next? Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, you know the drill. Leave a comment, what feature are you most excited for resolution jump, autofocus, video spec, or something else? We'll keep our eyes peeled for official announcement. As soon as Nikon gives us a date, we'll bring you full spec breakdown, hands-on impressions and what it means for you. Thanks for staying with me through this deep dive into the Nikon Z92. If you made it this far I know you're serious about your craft, and I appreciate that. I'll catch you next time on TapTech with the latest gear, the best insights, and no fluff. Until then, keep shooting, keep creating, and keep raising your game. See you in the next one, peace out.